Hey everyone, Praman Yeager here. Uh, with Windows 10 coming out today, it is 7-29-2015, um, about midday, here in the central part of North America. Anyway, uh, so Windows 10 released earlier. I've already got a few friends who have already downloaded it. I've not yet. I'm going to wait a few days. I'm going to let you guys, uh, you know, finish debugging and beta testing that for me before I put it in there. I'm ready to go with mine. Um, but one other thing, I thought I'd show some people, and I kind of wish I'd have done this a few days ago for you guys, uh, backing up what you already have just in case you screw something up. I've got myself a 2 terabyte little external hard drive here. Got it plugged in. Pretty simple little thing. Open up my file. You can see it. I've got my normal solid state drive with my operating system here, my regular 1 terabyte internal plan on getting more eventually but you know start with what you got so I've got the two terabyte external right there uh, I can close that now what I want to do right click on your little windows icon go to your control panel system and security uh, I swear I just looked at it file history and then down here you've got recovery and system image backup now that's what you want to do. Hit your system image backup. Choose your external hard drive. If you don't have an external hard drive, you probably should. Um, you can, in theory, put it on a flash drive or some other things. You don't have to copy your entire computer. I'm going to, when I click here and say next, because that's the choice I want to make, you'll see it says it's going to use up to 800 and 833 gigabytes. Uh, which is fine that's nothing that's about a little less than half of what I've got so I'll just create a full system image that way even if I completely destroy all of the data that's currently in my computer by installing Windows 10 or doing something I don't like I want to reformat it and reinstall Windows 8.1 or Windows 7 or whatever I've got uh, that's what I'll do so that's pretty simple little thing real quick to go through and can almost definitely save you a lot of trouble in the future and then of course if you don't end up needing it you can do this periodically just to make sure if you were to get a virus or any other thing that might corrupt data in your computer um, obviously this will be a good thing to have I usually back up all of my data every every few weeks or a few months just kinda of depends on how I feel and what I've been doing or like in this case what I might be about to do uh, always a good idea anyway this backup might take a while so I'm gonna go take a nap and you guys can enjoy the video I'll upload it and uh, you can watch it <laughs> 